Hello, welcome to our daily news, and let's have a look at the headlines. Almost 1,000 scientists from 36 countries and territories are attending the fourth international conference on Vietnamese studies in Hanoi. Prime Minister Nguyen Thanh Dung receives the Chief of General Staff of Bulgarian Armed Forces in Hanoi. Vietnam has attracted over 12.1 billion U.S. dollars in foreign direct investment so far this year. Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trọng stopped at Long Bi Khan Mun, Mountain District, Vĩnh Long Province, on November 26 during his ongoing working visit to southwestern provinces. Long Mỹ has recorded vast achievements in social economic development thanks to crop diversification. The lives of local residents have improved, with the rate of households living below the poverty line dropping to 4.1 percent. The commune has now fulfilled 12 out of 19 criteria in developing rural areas. Chap listened to recommendations to better the implementation of party and state guidelines and policies. He also wanted to listen to practical working methods and experience in economic and cultural development, education, vocational training, job creation and poverty reduction, as well as the party building and reorganization in the region. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dũng received the Chief of General Staff of Bulgarian Armed Forces, Simeon Ristov Simonov, in Hanoi on November 26. At the reception, Dung hailed the strong development of the traditional friendship and cooperation between Vietnam and Bulgaria over the past time, saying that it has brought practical benefits to the common development of both nations. He affirmed that Vietnam attaches importance to strengthening its multifaceted cooperation with Bulgaria, including in defence. The Prime Minister suggested the two sides speed up the early signing of a Memorandum of Understanding on Defence Cooperation through such forms as the exchange of delegations and experience in international peacekeeping activities, military medicine and technique. For his part, the Bulgarian Chief of Defence said his visit aims to increase the cooperation between the two armies, especially in training officers and military medicine. The 4th International Conference on Vietnamese Studies convened in Hanoi on November 26, drawing close to 1,000 scientists from 36 countries and territories. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dung addressed the event. Prime Minister Dung praised the theme of the event, which focuses on Vietnam's approach to integration and sustainable development. Improving international integration in social sciences and science and technology is an important part in the country's international integration strategy, he said. Prime Minister Zung said the conference, held once in every four years, illustrates the developing network of Vietnamese studies in the world. The Prime Minister said he believed that policymakers will exchange and share the results of their studies and propose new measures to raise awareness and sustainable integration and development in Vietnam at the conference. He expressed his wish that international scientists will continue to stand side by side with Vietnamese counterparts to build and develop Vietnamese studies in the world, in particular the establishment of more centres for Vietnamese studies in foreign countries. The government leader said he is optimistic that foreign countries, international organisations and scholars will continue to support the renewal, integration and development of Vietnam and Vietnamese studies in particular. The conference will run until November 28th. Vietnam earned 4 billion US dollars in wood and wooden product export over the past 10 months of 2012, becoming the largest wood exporter in Southeast Asia. Thanks to its increasing export volume and expanding markets, Vietnam is currently the sixth biggest timber and wooden product explorer in the world and the second in Asia. According to the Ministry of Industry and Trade, the high quality of Vietnamese wooden products has attracted the attention of the U.S. and Japan markets. Vietnam's exports of wood and wooden products support $1 billion U.S. dollars in 2004 and then the $3 billion U.S. dollars later in 2007. However, only 77% of Vietnam's 13.4 million hectares of forests are natural. 
As a result, the country has to import a large amount of timber for production, which affects the prices of wooden products. Vietnam has so far attracted over 12.1 billion U.S. dollars in foreign direct investment, with more than 7.2 billion U.S. dollars to 918 newly licensed projects. The figures were reported by the Foreign Investment Agency of the Ministry of Planning and Investment. The processing and manufacturing industries were the most attractive, with nearly 4.4 billion U.S. dollars. And over 4.1 billion U.S. dollars in newly and additionally registered FDI capitals, respectively. Real estate ranked second, attracting over 1.3 billion U.S. dollars in nine new projects. Five projects expanded their investment scale with an addition of over 494 million U.S. dollars, bringing the total FDI in the sector to more than 1.8 billion U.S. dollars. Other sectors that attract a large volume of FDI include wholesale, retail, information and communications, logistics, construction, accommodation services, healthcare, science and technology, and education and training. Japan is Vietnam's biggest foreign investor, with 247 newly registered projects worth over 3.9 billion U.S. dollars, and 103 expanded projects worth more than 1.1 billion U.S. dollars. The southern province of Binh Duong is the top destination with a total capital of over 2.2 billion U.S. dollars, followed by Ho Chi Minh City with 1.145 billion U.S. dollars. More than 50,000 people participated in the annual 16th Terry Fox Run in Ho Chi Minh City on November 25th to raise funds for cancer research. We we'll have more. It is one of the largest runs in Ho Chi Minh City so far. The event this year was co-organized by the Canadian Consulate General and the Ho Chi Minh City Union of Friendship Organizations. Last year, it drew the participation of 12,300 people and raised nearly 1.5 billion VND to fund cancer research. The Terry Fox Run is named after a young Canadian man who died of cancer at 22 after working hard for the benefit of cancer patients. It is held across the world to raise awareness in the community of the importance of finding a cure for cancer. So far, over 600 million U.S. dollars has been raised worldwide for Terry Fox cancer research. A regatta on the Long Binh Wan River in Cha Vinh City opened on November 25th to celebrate the Op Om Bok Festival of Khmer people in the Mekong Delta. Six teams from Cha Vinh City and five districts competed in two disciplines: 800 meters and 1200 meters. The boatmen of Khao Nang District won gold medals in both events during three hours of competition. The annual boat race is a Khmer tradition held during the Ok Om Bok Festival. It represents the unique culture and solidarity of Khmer people. On November 26th. The 2012 national boat race commenced on the Long Binh River. A photo exhibition featuring Vietnam's boundary and the country's sovereignty over seas and islands is open to the public in the central province of Thừa Thiên Huế. On display are images contributing to defending Vietnam's sovereignty over the Quang Sa or Parcel Archipelago and 21 stones taken from Vietnam's Tuong Sa Island. There are also historical documents proving the legality of Vietnam sovereignty over Tuong Sa and Huang Sa archipelagos, including a 100-year-old map of China's Qing Dynasty, which defined Hainan Islands as China's southmost point, not including Huang Sa and Tuong Sa archipelagos of Vietnam. Song albums on the issue and the country's achievements in national defense are also introduced at the exhibition, which will run until November 30th. That comes to the end of our news today. Thank you for joining us, and see you next time.